Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habita fillah I wanted to read a quote from a great imam of this time Imam bin Baz uh, Abdul Aziz bin Baz rahmatullahi alayhi rahmatun wasiyah with regards to following the salaf of this ummah regarding to the me methodology which we're in dire need of and the reason I say this and I know there's so many people who are against this and so many people even who studied in the places of Sunnah who've now changed and now have reassessed and now have new methodologies in which they find and believe are more applicable to their lives new ways of da'wah new ways of cooperation, new ways of thinking about the text. And this is cause for us to know the importance of holding on to the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And that's why the Prophet Alayhi Salatu Wasallam said, Ali can be Sunnati. He said, before this he Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Verily, inima, uh, verily those who yaish min kum baadi fasayara ikhtilaf in kathira. Verily those who live after me, they will see many differences. And it is amazing how many differences we see, how many people that differ and have different ways of understanding Islam different ways of looking at the text, different ways of treating the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, sometimes adhering to blind following their shaykhs, sometimes adhering to blind following their madhab and their jurisprudent approach, and various reasons that the people differ. You'll find that. And that's why the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam through prophecy Salawatul Rabbi Wasallamu Alaihi He said وَمَنْ يَعِيشُمْ وَمَنْ يَعِيشُ مِنْكُمْ بَعْدِي فَسَيَرَ اَخْتِلَافٍ كَثِيرًا Whoever lives after me will see many differences. And then he gave a prescription. فَعَلَيْكُمْ بِسُنَّةِ وَسُنَّةُ الْخُلَفَاءَ الرَّاشِدِينَ الْمَحْدِينَ So it's upon you my sunnah. And the sunnah of the rightly guided Khalifat And then he said, Abu Aleha bin Nawajid. He said, cling to it with your molar teeth. And your molar teeth are those in the back of your mouth. In order for you to cling to something with the back of your mouth, if this is your mouth and your molar teeth are here, that means you are clamping in order for this part. It means it's inserted and you are clinging to it. And you're not letting it go. Cling to it with your molar teeth. That's what it takes because it can be frustrating when we see so many people, so many people who claim to follow the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and perhaps they were and then they got distracted and then they went astray. Then they became a mubtadi'ah, khalis or they became even left Islam. I know, I've known many and I'm sure you do too. And that's why it's so important to remind one another. And a piece of advice, I want to remind myself, and I literally tried to practice this, especially since I came back to Saudi Arabia these past few years, is going back to the books of the Salaf. Some of these books that you see behind me, I already have in America. But I bought them again to make sure that I was grounded because I know that sometimes you get a little bit of knowledge and you start thinking about Messiah differently, which is beautiful. You're growing in the deen, but sometimes you can be distracted if you don't go to the Sabiqun, if you don't go back to what the Salaf, if you forget that whole methodology and that minhaj, and you think, well, you know, it's more applicable I do this, more applicable I do that, more applicable I think this way, then you begin to drift from the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi wa Alaihi Wasallam, just basing your whole religion on new ijtihadat, new ra'i, new opinions, new reasoning. 
And so it's very important to always adhere to those books of the Salaf. Those are very important books for us to cling to. And go, moving on to what the Imam said, he said, وَإِنَّمَا السَّلَفَ الصَّالِحِ هُمَ الصَّحَابَ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ تِلَا عَنْهُمْ وَمَنْ سَلَّكَ السَّبِيلِهِمْ مِنَ التَّابِعِينَ وَاتْبَاعَ التَّابِعِينَ مِنَ الْحَنَفِيَّ وَمَالِكِيَّ وَشَافِعِيَّ وَحَنَابِلَ وَغَيْرِهِمْ مِمَّنْ صَارَ عَلَى الْحَقِّ وتمسك بالكتاب العزيز والسنة والسنة المطاهرة في باب التوحيد وباب الأسماء والصفات وفي جميع الأمور الدين. That's a beautiful statement and it's a very simple statement. Imam bin Baz, what did he say? رحمة الله عليه رحمة الواسعة. أهل السنة has to cling to this. He says إن من السلف الصالح. Verily the salaf al salih they are the Sahaba رضي الله تعالى عنهم جميعين. And those who traverse their path from the tabi'i, meaning the, the, those, those who learned at the, the feet of the Sahaba, or at the hands of the Sahaba, if you want to say. وَإِتْبَاءَ تَابِعِينَ And those of their students that were on righteousness. And then he says, this is very important for us to understand. مِنَ حَنَفِيَ وَمَالِكِيَ وَشَافِعِيَ وَحَنَابِلَ And this is from the Hanafis. And this is from the and and they're fr they're they're from the Hanafis and they're from the Malikis and they're from the Shafi'is and they're from the Hanabila the 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 followers of, the followers of the jurisprudence of Imam Ahmed, Rahimahullah Jamian. So Ahl Sunnah and the Salafi Madhab does not go against. Don't believe the people who say that we don't respect the Madhabs. No, that's false. Ahl Sunnah is. From those madhabs. Ahl Sunnah, you the Muna Nasus. They give precedence and they exalt the text, the Book of Allah and the Sunnah, the Message of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi wa Alaihi Wasallam. And they love those Imams of the Sunnah. The Imams of the Sunnah, many of them they had various madhabs in jurisprudence, but their aqidah, their ittaqad was the, uh, the creed of Ahl Sunnah. And that's what's very important. Even if some, and there were those, there were many from Ahl Hadith and otherwise who had mistakes in Aqidah. Some of them had mistakes in Aqidah. And we still respect them as Imams of the Sunnah because of their khidmah, their service to the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and uh, the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Madhab of the Salaf they codified it they believed in it but they might have made a mistake and had some Ashari uh, Aqidah with regards to Al Asma wa Sifat or something else that they had a mistake because the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said Kullu ibn Adam khatta wa khayran khatayin tawabun all the children of Adam makes sins but the best of those who sin are those who repent so there are many great Imams, even of the Sunnah, who made mistakes. And they're still regarded as Imams of the Sunnah by the A'immat ad by the Imams of the religion. And they were well respected as that. The last part of the statement, after he mentioned that Ahl Sunnah is from those Madhabs, that you'll find Imams of Ahl Sunnah from all those Madhabs, because of those Imams were from the Imams of the Sunnah, he said, And other than them that adhered to the truth and adhered to the book, the, the exalted book of Allah and the pure sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ or the purified sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ with regards to Tawheed. Monotheism, Islamic monotheism. وَبَابَ الْأَسْمَاءِ sifat And the divine names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they didn't negate them. They didn't make ta'wil, false ta'wil of them, but they explained them and stopped with the nusus. This was the sabil of the salaf, that they stopped with the text. That if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes himself in such a way, and the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam described Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in such a way, in the authentic sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ, then Ahl Sunnah goes with that. And we, and our hearts are content with that. 
We don't need to say, no, it means power. No, it doesn't. It means this. No, it means this. No, he, we can't say he ro rose above his arsh when he said it, subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet said, Yunzilu Rabbuna Tabarak wa Ta'ala Kulthulu Thalayl al Akhir for Yakul. That your Lord descends to the uh, the last third of the 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 la lowest heaven every third of the night and says. So what does Ahl Sunnah do with a nuts like this? Ahl Sunnah. They say that that's what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, and we believe that Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala descends in a manner that suits his majesty not like his creation because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al karim laysa ka mithli shay wa sub'in basir there's nothing like him and he is the all hearing and all seeing and when i make this ishara for hearing and sight that's for me not for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we have to understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hears everything he sees everything and his hearing and sight is not like us. And our hearing and sight is not like his. And his has no shortcomings. It has only perfection. Because there's nothing like him. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is what Ahl Sunnati Wal Jama'ah believes about the divine names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I just wanted to share that piece of That message from Imam bin Baz, which we can benefit from. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with al nafi wa rizqin tayyib wa amal mutaqabbilan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.